We're at uh, the International Space Centre, a freshly formed centre within the university, and we're here to look at the very first images from the James Webb Space Telescope, where we're expecting to have a cross from NASA at some point where we can join in the excitement. Cheers. Cheers. Sky watchers, this is it. This is the day we get the first science images back from the James Webb Space Telescope, and you've got a front row seat to the cosmos. Webb's first image of a star dying, a planetary nebula called the Southern Ring. 350 moving parts have had to do their thing and do it all right in order to get this telescope where it is in place and to produce the images that it's producing. All four instruments are working beautifully, the systems at, at operating temperature, the images are unbelievably sharp. Oh, the, the, the first image I saw this morning, I, I guess, got a glance of it and it was just spectacular and stunning on the mobile phone. You see so many more galaxies than you saw with the Hubble Space Telescope. You see them much crisper, much sharper. You can see diffuse light where stars have been pulled apart from the central galaxy. All of these features are coming out so easily and that's even without processing the data. It's a marvel. Every ESA and NASA telescope is really a technology demonstrator. They build these things in order to test new concepts and new ways of doing things, new engineering in space. One day we're going to have to find a way to do everything that we do on the Earth. We're going to have to go out there and do in space. So as you know, people from all over the world are watching us today and joining in our, in our excitement as we release for Webb's first science images. We've been checking in with our colleagues in Europe and Canada throughout the program, but we also want to take a moment to include the people at the oh so many viewing parties scattered around the world like stars in the night sky. So let's check in with some of them now. First we go all the way to Perth, Australia. Do we have a signal from Perth? Okay, Amber, so here it is. Can you walk us through the final image reveal? <laughs> Absolutely, here we go. Wow, look at that. It, it's access. We have uh, three or four PhD students that just started in February. They're gonna be using the data from the world's most powerful telescope right from the start of their PhD. So it's also a draw card to students and we will do our best to get the data into the hands of undergraduates as well. Thanks for coming everyone and, and safe, safe travels back home. Back